Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends Jocasta. So, uh, here she is from the front. Here's the side art of her. Here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read there, you can. Here's all the figures in the wave, and then I uh, build to fix it. Uh, same artwork on the other side. You get the Marvel uh, logo furnace on top. And then you get the DCBI on the bottom, but besides that, let's crack her open. And here she is out of the packaging, so let's go over her, her accessories first. So she comes with uh, Joe Fix-It's torso, but we'll leave that for next. Um, and then she comes with two, like, I guess, like, sorcering hands, so it's nice metallic silver. Um, not a whole lot going on. It's, like, form about to form into a Spider-Man uh, hand pose for thwipping. And same deal on the other hand, so. Yep. Uh, but besides that, that's all there is for accessories. I'm already having a problem with her. I'll show you why in here in a sec, though. So, throughout her body, it's just mainly all silver. But you get a lighter silver down through the torso here. And you got diamond there near the belly button. Um, the face looks good. You got the red eyes. Don't see any red bleeding through there or anything like that. Uh, you get the like little belt, I guess, around the butt there. Uh, you get this weird looking holster thing or spike bolts, whatever you want to call them, uh, on her thigh there. And basically, it's just all silver. So, not a whole lot. And you get this weird looking hair or whatever helmet on her head so yeah that's basically it um but let's go over our t her articulation here now so her head can ugh, whoa i guess only hinge down like zero because these kind of get in the way there but up let's see all right there we go up she can look up just that far same deal it's kind of getting in the way there uh, she can look left and right. Yeah, you get a little bit of head pivoting, so that's all right. Uh, her shoulders can go out way past 90, uh, 90 degrees, so that's good. You get 360 rotation around the shoulder. She's got a bicep swivel. Uh, so this is the problem that I was having. I cannot bend her shoulder. I'm so scared to break it because this is what exactly happened to my silver sable. So um, let's do the other arm. So sure. Elbows can move pretty close to 90 degrees. I'm not sure. I think it's right at 90 degrees. So you get 360 rotation around there. Uh, around the elbow, I mean. There we go. Uh, her. All right, now let's go to the other arm. So her wrist can hinge down that far. Up that far. 360 rotation. Uh, she has a diaphragm joint. So she can move forward just like barely any. Zero basically backwards a bit so that's good uh, and they i like how they went through the lighter shinier silver through there so that's good her legs can kick oh yeah side that far the other side that far and you get 360 rotation around there her legs can kick out just that far but that's decent for marvel legends uh forward actually quite a bit so that's good uh backwards zero uh, she's got a thigh cut there. She has double jointed knees. Uh, her ankles can hinge down that far. So that's good. Up. Just that far. And good ankle pivot. So I think, I mean, she's pretty accurate. I don't know much about her. So, I mean, I can't really say anything about how she looks or anything. I mean, it's just all silver mainly. So I can't can't really complain about the looks she's all silver so i can't really complain uh, and there's no paint mess ups or anything like that it's pretty hard to mess up paint apps when it's just mainly silver and a little bit of shiny silver so that's really it and red for the eyes but it did good on that the only problem that i'm having is the elbow but i'm pretty sure that's just a defect on my figure i really don't want to just try bending and snap it like i did with the silver uh, silver sable figure that i had which I think they, that's another reason why I prefer to have double joints, double jointed elbows, so that way that doesn't happen. 
because then that stick or that little port that goes into the um, the hole there for the you know for the joint there I feel like it's just too skinny and it'll snap which scares me a lot and sometimes this one just gets like this joint right here uh, just gets clogged up by the paint and it's kind of hard to bend it so then that part snaps and it's broken <laughs> um but besides that i mean the articulation's decent i mean going forward for the diaphragm joint's not good but i mean she's gonna be standing straight up anyways like i, I don't know much about her in, this, in the uh comic books but i'm pretty sure it seems like she's the type of person that stands straight up, especially since I guess she's a robot, I think, right? Um, but yeah, uh, I guess she's an okay figure. It's just the elbow I'm worried about. Um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, she looks cool. Um, I guess just the elbow is my problem. But besides that, that's all I've got.